Gustavo Martínez Campos. position of Hurricane Kenna. There we see it's tracked towards landfall and I'm right here. The Ruiz truck stop 21.4 degrees north. Tomorrow is going to be a big day. Winds at the moment gusting to 190 miles an hour. That's 305 kilometers an hour. Very strong Cat 5. This is going to be a very serious day tomorrow. Here we have the latest satellite pictures just in. Very powerful hurricane. You can see the eye right there, very defined eye, very small eye. This is a small but very intense storm. So getting anywhere close to the eye of that thing is going to be a hell of a ride. I'm right here on the coast, Ruiz truck stop. So we've got approximately 12 hours to go. It's all going to happen tomorrow morning. So beautiful looking thing but deadly. Tomorrow is going to be a very dangerous day indeed. Tomorrow this place is going to be, for a period of three or four hours, the most dangerous place on earth. most dangerous thing of course about driving in Mexico is uh, not the hurricane, it's uh, all these trucks, grossly overloaded, badly maintained, da da da. This of course is also a pain in the ass when you're trying to go somewhere in a hurry and you're doing 15 kilometres an hour behind a truck. There we go, we've got a guy passing on double yellow lines, crest of a hill, normal procedure in Mexico. Uh, what of course happens when a B train is coming over the top. Chaos. So this is the kind of nonsense we get in Mexico. Okay, what I've just done on the Iridium sat phone is I've just downloaded some messages from Jim Eds, storm chaser in Florida, who's tracking the storm on the internet. He's uh, saying that it's uh, going to cross the coast at 21.5 north. I'm at 21.5 now, so uh, I'm in the right position. I might just go a little bit north to the sea coast. We're looking at um, three hours uh, before the eye crosses the coast, so the weather's going to deteriorate um, heaps in the next little while. So there we are. So away I go. No roadblock. Yeehaw! It's probably just around this corner. I'm at a place called El Limon, which is basically a bloody farm in the middle of nowhere. But I'm in the right place. The weather's starting to deteriorate rapidly here. Um, so I, I think it's going to be good. Just going to drive back to a town that's just up the road. Uh, that small town I came through, that town is going to be the one that's hammered. So that's where I'm going to go. It's 9.48 a.m. And 
we're in the town of Villa Hidalgo. Villa Hidalgo or Via Hidalgo. Uh, got two hours to go before the uh, strongest part of the hurricane arrives here and things are starting to deteriorate uh, but as you can see there's still a lot of traffic on the road and uh, in Mexico nothing really stops until the uh, hurricane is too strong for people to carry on their normal lives so uh, just wait uh, a little bit longer and things should uh, start to get uh, quite interesting here. Problem here, we've got uh, whoa, the whole place is shit falling everywhere. Uh, this is a very serious hurricane. There's uh, this place is blowing to bits, roofing iron. Uh, this is an extremely dangerous, extremely dangerous situation here. Uh, 